Irvin, where have you been? I have been so upset. I'm very sorry. I've never seen you before. How can you say that? We have a baby together. Please leave me alone, or I will unfortunately have to call the police. One of the girls has reported some terrible news concerning Marielle. Stop gossiping, Agatha. I'm not interested. Go home. I know that I'm supposed to be marrying Marielle soon, but I wanted to see you. I wanted to see you too. It's me, Hatsy, and I'm back with part eight of Let's Play Witches. So a lot has happened in the first few scenes of the Machinimas. We've been introduced to Spirit Witch, who there is a criticism of, of at the moment, so you can go and find out more about her if you want to. And yeah, we found out about Eve and Irvin. It was a little bit rushed, but there we go. But at the moment, we are with Damien and Jenny. So the reason why Damien has invited Jenny on a date in the middle of nowhere, really, is because he has to be careful because if he's found out by the others, if people know where he is, then they won't be very happy with him because he's actually supposed to be marrying Marielle pretty soon. And yeah, I mean, it's pretty dodgy. It's not going to be easy to keep this relationship secret because as you can see, Eleona, one of the witches, has just run past. So yeah, I mean, it's going to be a risky relationship going on here. I don't know what has happened between these two. Awkwardly cows, what did he do? What did he actually do there? I'm going to stop her from just running off because she seems to run off a lot, actually. She was running off the last time that I'm pretty sure they went out to the park. She runs off everywhere. So I think that it was quite a popular idea that these two got together. And I like the idea of that. Of course, we do have to keep their relationship a little bit secret. And I don't really know what he's doing. What are those chicken wings, Damien? I'm not too sure there. But yeah, I think it's interesting and I think that they make a really nice couple and I think that maybe at the moment he would be feeling a little bit lost because he does have to marry somebody that he really, really doesn't want to marry and they're both sort of handling it in different ways. That's the storyline that I'm going for and it is really nice for him to have a friendship with Jenny so I'm definitely keen on that idea but the friendship would really be looked down upon as well in the community. So yeah, there we go. But I mean, it's not ideal because it really is the back alley of nowhere. It's okay, it's, it's a nice street. Like I do like the streets and I love these properties, of course, because I chose them myself off the Sims 4 gallery. I actually found out that Andrew Arcade, he's another YouTuber, he made one of these venues on his channel. So I've definitely got to leave the speed build below because honestly, I had no idea. I was just skimming through the gallery and I found one that I really liked. And then someone wrote a comment saying, oh my gosh, it's Andrew Arcade speed build. So I was like, oh my gosh, I, have to, I absolutely have to mention it. So yeah, there we go. Also, the graveyard that you would have seen at the beginning, that was made by Deligracy, which was really, really cool. The speed build links and stuff will be left below of the two creators. And I think that using gallery creations is a really nice way of bringing something different to the channel because sometimes I struggle creating things like graveyards and stuff. But the friendship isn't going very well at the moment. <laughs> And in fact, I think there's been too much friendliness, not enough flirtiness. That hasn't happened before, I don't think. I am completely the opposite when it comes to Sims. Like, I do tend to really, really play the romance and forget about the friendship meter. 
<laughs> but no, this is the opposite. But then again, Damien doesn't strike me as like a flirty character at all. I think that he would just be very friendly and a little bit timid as well. That is how he strikes me. How would he handle a situation like this? Because some people aren't very good in romantic situations. So yeah, I had, I had a really bad date one time and it was actually a really strange time a while ago. And it was something that happened to me, but I went on a particularly awful date. And I basically got picked up in the car by this person and he didn't speak to me for the whole time, like start to finish. So maybe that's how Damien would be with Jenny. I genuinely don't know. But yeah, I mean, some dates can just be super awkward. Some people aren't good in dating situations. Maybe he's just one of those people. I don't know. But I just love the idea of him getting closer and I think that it's going to be interesting as it goes on to see where this goes. Now I do need to change this round in here slightly because a little bit off-putting that he's taken her to a wedding venue. Now unfortunately got a bit of bad news and it turns out that both Marielle and Eve are upstairs. So we're going to have to get the couple out right now i've just paused it because that's the storyline i'm going for like of course the characters of course the sims aren't going to react in any way shape or form to damien doing any of this because that's not what sims do but of course i like to add the storyline and the drama to it so yeah that's what we're going to pretend here so he's going to leave jenny alone and maybe they'll actually go back to the bench because that was a really really nice romantic moment they had at the start there so yes maybe they will do that Can I tell you a secret? I don't want to marry Damien. Is that a secret? No, the secret is that I have to get rid of him. So we've just arrived with Marielle and she has got Calvin in the basement at the moment, which is a little bit risky. And this is what Agatha was probably most frightened about. Of course, not the basement bit. She has been warned that there is a basement, but that is partly what she would have been warning the spirit witch about when she actually went to visit the spirit witch. So these two are just chatting in here and their relationship is getting out of control a bit. She's actually going to invite him to stay the night because Elizabeth would probably cover for her. Like, she would just cover her back no matter what. And, yeah, I mean, it makes things a little bit awkward. But there we go. So, I mean, none of the witches would probably take any notice, um, especially if these two were sneaking around anyway. So it doesn't really matter to them. They also stand outside the house a lot, pretty much not doing anything. <laughs> which is insane. So maybe we'll get them all to speak to each other and um, get a friendship going on here because it's not really happening. In fact, maybe, maybe it would be nice to be able to get um, Onyx round because I know that, was it Devin or Eleona that had a uh, friendship with Onyx? Honestly, I don't know because the game deletes so many of my friendships. It is frustrating that the game does that, but there we go. And Onyx is gonna be right over. So in that case, why doesn't Vivian invite Tatum? Just because they're boyfriend and girlfriend and I feel like they haven't seen each other in ages, but then again, that might just be me because it's been a while since we've visited that storyline. Okay, so where is Calvin? Where is he? That is an interesting question. I, I genuinely don't know where Calvin's gone. But the good thing is, with so many wizards around, it won't look strange that um, Calvin is over here. But then again though, Agatha did specifically spot Calvin going over to this house. So yeah, I mean, maybe with the bunch of wizards here, which we can clearly see now, it may be different uh, as opposed to one wizard appearing after Marielle has a mysterious phone call. Okay, so I managed to find Calvin and it looks like he's taken this sleepover literally <laughs> and he's just sleeping in marielle's room at what 7 40 calvin this is pathetic get up 
So we're gonna get him up and uh, we're gonna have some more interactions with him. Let's check their mood looks. Okay, so they pretty much don't need anything. Okay, Devin needs some food. Well, maybe it's time for Elizabeth to turn on that maternal switch and actually go and make them some food. There was a fire here, I think. Um, yeah, there genuinely was. So gonna have to replace that. No questions asked. It was um, when I was doing a machinima and oh my gosh, so much stuff burnt down. Okay, there we go. It was actually Devin that set on fire, unfortunately. I probably should have shared it on Twitter, but I, I actually forgot. And I delete a lot of my footage as well. But yeah, there we go. Okay, so Elizabeth is just cooking in the kitchen. She loves to cook. I feel like Elizabeth cooks a lot more and she should definitely have a higher skill in it. In fact, no, cooking level eight is pretty, it's pretty good. I also sort of feel like these two would maybe be competing for Onyx in the future because they both have an interest in him. That's what I've got from past episodes anyway because I feel like Eleona has tried to speak to Onyx in the past and so is Devin. And yeah, I think when they specifically are speaking to somebody for the point of trying to get to know them, maybe that would happen. And I also want Vivian to go in and have a conversation with Tatum because he pretty much just walked straight past her and ignored her, which wasn't nice at all. I don't know what's going on here. Um, and he can't stay the night. Oh, he's already spending the night here. Okay, so he's already made that decision himself. He's like, okay, I don't, I don't even need you to ask me. I'm already staying here. Okay, well, their relationship is closer than anybody's in this Let's Play so far. And they are our first witch and wizard relationship which definitely means something to me because I'm not very good at sim relationships. <laughs> I don't even think that the elder witches would um, mind them being together because they would sort of influence it. It's not so good if one of them turns out to be a supreme or one of them turns out to be an arch which may happen in the future we have to see and it will be time I think around the next few episodes to start thinking about the new supreme and new arch um, and if you haven't followed the series this far a new supreme or a new arch would basically mean that Marielle or Damien would have to step down and it would be a really really big event because it would mean that it would be a new person taking all the powers. They would have this real uncontrollable power and it would be their responsibility to look after the group. Which to be fair, neither Marielle or Damien have done a fantastic job at. And maybe it would be a quite a nice change, but of course I can't imagine Marielle wanting that to happen. And maybe that would be why she would be causing some sort of scheme with Calvin downstairs. But let's just see where they are actually. Okay, so she's just speaking to Onyx up here. Um, where is Calvin? I think he's obsessed with her bedroom. I actually think that he prefers her bedroom over her. <laughs> he just wants to go back there. So I have just woken Calvin up and a lot of the wizards are actually going home. So Onyx has had enough. He hasn't really spoken to anyone whilst being here very well. And I think that the last thing that I will do is I'm going to get Marielle and Calvin back down here. Marielle is going to reveal her big secret to Calvin, her master plan, which is going to involve him. And yeah, then they're going to go back to bed and spend some time together. So what I am going to do though, is I'm going to leave this part here. You will see what happens in the machinima after this part. I really hope you enjoyed it and I hope to see all future episodes. I'd love to know what you think in the comments below and I will speak to you all soon. Can I help you, Agatha? I am wondering why I just saw Calvin heading into your house with Marielle. What are they up to? I would like to speak with them both. That's none of your business, and Calvin isn't here. I demand to come inside then. Show me that he's not. What I choose to do in my free time is none of your business. Don't cross me, Agatha. I want you to kill Damien for me so that we can be together. <laughs>